Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and uh, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff but I did get a couple of green machines, a couple of RLC cars, some older Hot Wheels that I've never seen before which are pretty cool and some older Johnny Lightning. And so to get started with we got Johnny Lightning here. This is Boot Hill Express and uh, it's from Plain Mantis so this is older for sure. I think this is from 97. Now a couple weeks back or a month ago maybe now I got the red one and now I have this gray one which is just awesome and by looks at the original one looks like it might be gold I'm not sure if that is an original picture of one or not but I'm kinda guessing it is but anyways that thing is just awesome I absolutely love it here's the back of her just a cool casting for sure I like that and it's got for the card art here we got Elvira and her car so that's pretty cool awesome that's the Boot Hills Express right there it's awesome and this older Johnny Lightning again and I picked it up because it is a hearse and this is a 1966 Cadillac hearse and it's Dracula and it's got bats all over the side there it's got black interior of course and it's got Dracula on the roof Pretty cool. You don't see a lot of these uh, Hearst. So when you do see them, well at least when I see them, I grab them. So I think they're just cool. And there's the back of her. Awesome. Love it. Yeah, that thing is just wild. Nice, very nice. And I did get another one. And this is hauling Hearst. And this one here has got an extra engine in the back as well as the one in the front. I don't know if you can see the one in the back or not, but yeah, it's there and it's got mummy on the side and a mummy on the roof there. Pretty cool. Take it. These are from a movie, I guess, right there is a movie. So there's the car. That's awesome. Just awesome. Now, I don't know if the grill is missing in this one or what, but it almost thinks so. So they might have messed up because I don't see a grill in the front of this one. So yeah, maybe it's a, this is an error or a mess up, this one. But it don't matter, it's a Hearst and I had to get it. Can't leave that behind, that thing's awesome. Love it. And then for some newer Johnny Lightning, we have the 1964 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. Now it says barn finds on the top there. And uh, this apparently all cleaned up. There's uh, some facts about it if you want to pause it and read it. But uh, there's the car done in blue with the black interior. Now I have the barn fine version of this that is all dirty and everything. And then I have the clean version. And now I have this one here as well. And that's pretty cool. It's got the black interior. White stripe. Blue car. Nice. Pretty unique. That's for sure. Awesome. Johnny Lightning did a pretty decent job of that for sure. Side pipes on the side there. Not bad. Alrighty. And then we got a 1969 Chevy Copo Camaro RS in green with the black interior. Awesome. It's got the hideaway headlights in the front. Pretty cool. Nice car. I don't mind that green on that car at all. Looks pretty good actually. Nice. Alrighty. Now this is now Auto World. <clears throat> now this one here, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking I might have already gotten this one. Uh, I couldn't remember, so I got it again, I guess, maybe. I'm going to have to look and see. But uh, this is a 2020 Chevy Corvette. Done with the... Uh, white and it's got black interior with red seats in there I don't know if you can see in there or not but yeah there is that is pretty cool car I think Auto World did a nice job of this casting looks pretty good not bad at all there's the back of her lots of detail back there pretty nice see the red engine in there I don't know if you can see it or not but yeah there is a red engine awesome Pretty cool car, like that. And then we got the 19 Mickey's Nicky's Chevy Camaro, 
and this is the uh, ZL1 1LE. Now it's all black with black interior. Again, I'm not sure if I had this one or not, but I know for sure I do now. It's not bad. It's all black. Black and right out. I'm kind of guessing I do have it, but man, I got so many cars now, I just can't seem to keep track of what I have and what I don't have. So that's pretty cool. And I have the 2019 Chevy Camaro again. ZL1 1 LE gray with black interior. Again, awesome car. Awesome. There's a front. I should have probably stopped and showed you the fun facts or facts on the uh, other one, but I didn't. I will show you on this one though. And there's the facts. You want to pause it and read it. Pretty cool. It's kind of nice to do that. And then on to green light. Now this package is a little bit marked up a bit, but it's not bad. It is a green machine. That's why I grabbed it. It's a 2021 Ford Interceptor Utility. As you can see, it's black with the black interior. I do have this uh, in the regular version. And uh, now I have the green machine of it. Right there. And there's the back of her. State police. And there's the bottom. Well, that's pretty cool. See, it's green. Green machine with the green base. I actually really picked this up for Adam. I don't know if he has it or not, but I picked it up in case he didn't. So, if you're watching Adam, let me know. <laughs> and then we have another green machine. This is a 2020 Ford Shelby GT350. Awesome. Now, I don't believe I have the regular version of this one. I've got the green machine, but I don't believe I have the regular version. I'm going to have to look for that. I'm going to check my stash and see if I do have it, but I don't think I do. And it's got the black interior, white exterior with the blue race stripes. Thing is pretty cool car. And it is a green machine. There's your green wheels and the green base as well. Thing is awesome. Nice casting of this car. I think uh, Green Light did a pretty decent job with this. There's the back of her. Detail on her. Yeah. Pretty nice. Green machine. Can't leave it behind. And then we got some showroom. This is uh, Showroom Floor Series 2. There's six cars in this set. I've got three. I haven't been able to find the rest yet. So this first one is a 2022 Chevy Corvette C8 Stingray Coupe. And it's done in a brown. It doesn't do this car any justice. And it's got a tan interior. I don't think that is a really good color for this car at all. But it is what it is. It's, uh, yeah, it's not me, that's for sure. Here's the back. Not too bad. Yeah, the color is just wrong for that car, I believe. But whatever. Leave it at that. And number two that I have of that is the 2022 Chevy Silverado LTD. High Country. And uh, it has a topper on it. Now, I don't know if they come factory with the topper or you can order it maybe. But it's a pretty cool casting of this truck. It's not too bad. There's the front of her. Looks pretty good. It's got some detail to her. Not bad. There's the back of her. Looks pretty good. Not a bad looking machine. And then for the last green light is the 2020 Ford F-150 XL. Done in blue with gray interior. Awesome. Like the truck. Like the color. Very nice. There's the front of her. I said I got to find the rest of the series. Uh, I will eventually, I'm sure, because I'd like to complete all of them. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's awesome. And now we'll go on to the Hot Wheels, which is pretty cool. I got this here Lamborghini. I just got this today. <clears throat> and it's the RLC Lambo, and it's done in blue. And it's got white panels in the inside of it there. Blue seats. 
steering uh, seat belts. It is pretty cool. The color of this car is just awesome. I love the Countach. This is one of my favorite cars, I guess. This is the older Countach. It's right there. Nice detail to it. Love the color. The color on this thing is just amazing. Here's the side. Now the door's not completely shut on this one. I don't know. I'm going to have to try and get it open and do that. Make sure it does close properly. There's the back of her. Lots of detail. Now I did try and open this already and I can't get it to pop. So that's why it's still in its little box right now because I couldn't get it open. I didn't want to do any damage to it. That is a cool, cool car. I believe there's another one out that's green. I'm going to have to try and find that one as well. Just to go along with this because this thing is sharp. Love it. Fantastic looking car. Alrighty. And then for my other RLC car I got is this one here which was mailed out before my Porsche that I got last week and I got this one this week so this is a 1969 Chevy Camaro SS done in orange with orange flames now the way they've done the paint job on this thing is just amazing like it turns almost to a red it's such a cool paint I love the paint on this thing did a fantastic job and it's got lots of detail on the inside underneath the hood there. Just awesome. Now they just put out a blue one, which I missed. But uh, I got this one. I'm hoping I can find the blue one somewhere in the, on the marketplace or something there. But right now I'm, I'm quite happy with this because the color on this thing is just amazing. I like the way it changes color. thing is awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, that thing is sharp. It turns a red. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but it does change color. The thing is awesome. Absolutely love it. So we'll put that back in its packet. I want to get that one too messed up. And then I'm sure you all seen these ones already. I just managed to finish this set. And to start out with here, we got the Subaru and we got the Lexus there. Now this one here, it's still on the pegs. Nobody's touching this one. I don't know what's up with that, but it's actually not bad. It's, uh, the Subaru is blue with the gray interior. It's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad. I don't mind that. And then the Lexus is all like a flat black with black interior, which is pretty cool. Not bad. But, uh, yeah, they're not seem to be liking this set very much out there. So that was the first one I found. And these have been out for a little bit now. And, uh, yeah, the second one I found was this here Nissan set. Now, we got, we got the Skyline. They're both Skylines. So, yeah, this was not too bad to find this one. This one here was... The second one I found, and that was like two weeks later, but I did get it. It's still a pretty cool car. Not too bad. And of course the uh, Liberty Walk one, this has been out quite a few times now. It was quite popular for sure for a while. So yeah, but I'm seeing these ones on the pegs now. They're leaving these ones behind. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it could be the price. I'm not sure, but it's still a pretty cool car. That was the second one I found. And then I finally found the last one is right here. This one was a tough one. I don't know why everybody was after this one this time. It's a Plymouth Belvedere and the Dodge Coronet. And that's uh, done red, white, and blue right there. Done very nice. Awesome. Like I said, this was a hard one for me to find. And then uh, I just got it earlier this week. I didn't find it on the weekend, but I did find it earlier this week. And then I was out this morning and looked, and I found two more of these on the pegs. And I'm thinking, man, now they're starting to show up. But anyways, I got a set. I'm happy. It's awesome. I finished that set now. 
Very happy. That thing is just a fantastic set. Love it. Now on to some older Hot Wheels. Now these here are new to me because I've never seen these before. And these are uh, tattooed machines. And I got two versions. I got the long card and a short card by the looks of it. That's kind of the way it is. Um, yeah. I've never seen these before. And these are older. I should have looked at the year. 92. And uh, they're both the same car. I just got them because it's one short card, one long card. And I believe this is a 308 Ferrari. Now, these things are really busy with the uh, the paint, or I guess the decals, Hot Wheel decals, all over it. Pretty busy. And there's the tattoos that I guess lick and stick, I guess. I'm not sure. But it's pretty cool to see these things all together still. And actually, where I picked these up, he had a few different ones there. And I might just go back and grab a couple more different ones because I've never seen these before. I think that's pretty cool. So I got both versions. Quite happy with that. It's awesome. Long card and a short card. I guess that's the way you do it. Alrighty. And then I picked up this one here. This is a 93 Camaro. Done with white interior. It says Hot Wheels on the side. So that to me is like Hot Wheels race team. I'm not sure. It says Jack Baldwin on the, uh, the roof there. Pretty cool. I like it. Now this is definitely older. It's in really nice shape, this card. I don't think it's in bad shape, really. And uh, from 91, it says on the back. So it probably come out in 92. Heck, you know, the thing's in really nice shape for being that old. Awesome. And then we got a Ford delivery, 1932. This is a uh, red line, I guess. It's got the red line tires on it. And in gold, black fenders. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Not too bad. Again, another older car. Uh, 2005 on the back of this one. Not bad. And then we got this one here. This is a different one again. I've never seen this before. This is Roll Patrol. Uh, yeah, it comes with this car, which is your jaded. Um, and then it comes with this little micro machine type car there. So it's pretty cool. Never seen these before. That's pretty neat. That's why I grabbed it. And actually, he's got a few different ones there. And I'm thinking maybe I might have to go back and take a look and see what the other ones are. And maybe grab another one of these because that is definitely different. Never seen these before. And it's from 2002. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Like it. Now on to some newer stuff. There's this here, the Toyota Supra. You know, it's pretty popular. This does come out as a super treasure hunt. And uh, whew, my goodness, they're asking some crazy nut money for these things now. For the uh, Super. But... Uh, it's the same as the card. It's got one headlight up, one down, and that's exactly what it does on the front. It's kind of a neat touch. But yeah, to be a super and the money they're asking for these things is just bananas. I just don't get it. It's a cool car and all, but wow, the prices they're asking for this thing is just nutty. But yeah, pretty cool. Like it. And then the treasure hunts, a 95 Jeep Cherokee down in the cream with the orange. It's pretty cool. Not too bad. It's got like the brown wheel, so it's dirt. And there's the flame right there. So she's a treasure hunt. So that's kind of neat to find one of them. I believe this is J Case. So they had just dumped a whole bunch of these. So of course I just picked off the top and that's what I got. Uh, we got an 87 Crossworth, which I'm not sure if I've already had this or not. I wasn't 100% sure, so I grabbed one anyways. And uh, it's gray with the black interior and gold wheels. It's actually a pretty cool car. It's got quite a history. A lot of these were stolen, these cars. 
They're a pretty fast little machine back in the day, I guess. Yeah, pretty cool. And then part of the drag strip team here, uh, the series, drag strip series there. This is a Honda Civic Custom with white interior, white exterior, some black markings there. That's yeah, not bad. It's a little different. It's all right. It's got little wheels on the back there and big ones on the front. It's all right. Pretty cool. And then we got the Porsche 911 GT3. Awesome. I like this casting. And, you know, after I got this home, I was looking at it, and there's a big chip in the fender there. Now, I don't know if they'll still be there or not when I go back. But I'm hoping there is another one, maybe a little better shape. But this thing is just cool. I like the red with the black striping. The gold wheels I could have done without for sure. But yeah, it's a pretty cool car. I like that Porsche. Very nice. Got some detail to it. Not bad. Pretty cool. Alright. And then another one for the uh, drag strip series is this Mustang. Mach E 1400 in blue this time. There is a white one. There's a few different colors of it now, and this is the blue one. And it's part of the drag race series or drag strip series. That's pretty cool. Not bad. An electric car for drag racing. It's all right. And then we got the BMW 507 done in white with the red interior. Now, I don't believe I have this one, and that's why I grabbed it, because I thought it was pretty cool. And it's got red interior. Now, I'm not 100% sure I don't have it, but uh, I grabbed one anyways, because it was right there. Caught my eye. It's a pretty cool car. Awesome. And then I got this here. Power panel, which is a different vehicle again, and it's got Hot Wheels on the side. That's why I grabbed it. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Don't mind that at all. So that's the uh, the Hot Wheels of this series. And I guess that's really all I got for this week. So I guess if you like that, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See ya.